Governor now bringing in executive help to get Oregon's troubled health insurance exchange going again. But this solution does nothing to fix a broken website that should have been up and running six weeks ago. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Here are the facts at this hour. The governor says he is bringing in two experts to try to help with all this. Greg Van Pelt, the former CEO of Providence, will focus on the program oversight. Dr. Bruce Goldberg, who's the director of the Oregon Health Authority, will oversee the application and the enrollment process. The governor believes adding these two men will free up the Cover Oregon executive director Rocky King to focus on the website that again has yet to enroll a single person. But will this move ensure that every Oregonian who wants and needs coverage will get it? Lisa Balick is getting some answers. Kelly, like you said, you're supposed to be able to sign up on this website. Instead, most people have to fill out a 20-page application. This is it. So far, 30,000 people have done that so far, but only about 5,000 have been processed. Now, again, like you said, no one has yet been able to sign up for a health plan in our state. We're the only state that's in that situation. I asked the governor if it's time to make a change. In retrospect, I think I should have been more engaged in the project. I didn't realize that there were problems with this magnitude until they were, you know, pretty significant. The governor says he'll take responsibility for whether thousands of Oregonians eventually get to sign up for health care through the state website Cover Oregon, a site that's not yet allowing people to enroll online. Oracle, the world's largest database software maker, was hired to make the site work. Isn't it time to replace the IT contractor who has consistently missed the deadlines? In fact, Mr. King even said he expects them to keep missing the deadlines and replace them with somebody who can get this job done. Um, I just don't think this is the time to uh, try to find heads to, 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 to lop off. It's a time to muster our forces, focus, and make sure that we get the job done and keep our eye on the ball, which again is enrollment in, in, uh, in health plans. But in the private sector, I mean, if you don't do your job on the times that are given to you on deadline, you're fired. Well, there may be people who are fired. For now, the governor says there's not another contractor lined up. And Oracle sent a new team to Oregon this week to try and fix the problems. But some who'd like to shop for a plan say they're staying away for now. If it was working, working right for everybody, doing what it's supposed to do, sure I would. But now, no. There's also a growing concern that younger people, whose premiums are needed to help pay for the plans, are staying away without web sign-up available. Well, I think initially it would be, but I think after a while, like, you know, people want health insurance, so eventually they're going to do it. You know, if it's available, they'll do the paper version, but certainly if it's online, it would make it a lot easier. Now, there is some good news tonight. For hundreds of people worried about their insurance companies canceling them next year under the Affordable Care Act, several companies that operate in Oregon have now told the state they will extend people's insurance through the end of next year. We have a list of those on coin.com. Go to our website and you can check if it's one of yours. Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Lisa, thank you. Cleared up a lot today. Uh, we will continue to follow the Cover Oregon issues for you. So look for updates on air and always on our website, coin.com.